Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. Yes, Big Finish have had another sale and that was on the Companion Chronicles and I'm not a person to say no to a sale on the Companion Chronicles because I absolutely love the Companion Chronicles. So we have two boxes, so if we start off with this one because this one I don't think is part of the Big Finish Companion Chronicles. I think this is from Amazon. So if we just open this one up and it is one of the BBC audios and I think you'll probably know which one it is and it is this. Horrors of War, um, the second part of the First World War um, trilogy which is ongoing, we've got the Sixth Doctor one out in, uh, I think it's September, um, Fountains of War, so yeah, lovely third Doctor, uh, read by Katie Manning, so it's going to be good, um, so I'm really excited to listen to this because the first Doctor um, story, Men of War, really did set this story pretty um, well, so I'm very excited um, to give this one a listen at some point, and you can definitely expect a review of uh, Horrors of War by Justin Richards. So now let's get on to the big finished package. Let's go on to the main event which is the Companion Chronicles which is one of my favourite big finish ranges and a very a range what's not really talked about that much so um, I'm always happy to talk about Companion Chronicles because I think they're really um, underrated gems really so if we just open this up so I ordered six Companion Chronicles um, as you can see there if I just make, take that off camera so, so you don't I see them. So I ordered six Companion Chronicles from the recent sale. I just thought I'd put the Season 12 Blu-ray um, for just put in the background because one, it looks gorgeous and it's fabulous. And you can expect a review of that coming in the near future. Um, I'm just slowly watching it now and I'm loving it. Um, so yeah, you can expect a full review to see whether it's worth your money if you've already got the DVD. So I'll be comparing special features, you know, what special features are on the Blu-ray and what special features aren't included on the Blu-ray so you're going to get quite a big in-depth video looking at season 12 later down the line but you're here for the Companion Chronicles and rightly so because the Companion Chronicles like I say in every Companion Chronicle video I do is one of my favourite ranges so yeah I'll, I'll talk about those later on uh, when I do my concluding thoughts so the first audio I got was the first wave by Simon Gurry now this is the last part of, of the Oliver Harper trilogy and I have listened to all the Oliver Harper trilogy stories, so the Perpetual Bond, Cold Equation, and the First Wave. Um, yeah, Simon Gurrier, you can always rely on good stories by Simon Gurrier, and he's obviously wrote the two main trilogies, um, well, some of the main trilogies for the Companion Chronicles, so like the Zoe Harriet stuff, um, the Oliver Harper and Sarah Kingdom, those are the two main ones, the Oliver Harper one and Sarah Kingdom, those are the ones people talk about the most. And I think I prefer the Oliver Harper trilogy just a little bit more than the Sarah Kingdom one. The Sarah Kingdom trilogy is fantastic. Home Truths, I highly recommend. It's a very clever story. Um, Perpetual Bond, that's a very 1960s style story. It's just one of those feel-good audios. Cold Equations is a hard sci-fi story. Very good for Stephen. And that's when you get Oliver Harper's secret revealed why he was wanted to leave 1960s and then the first wave is a really grand way to close the Olive Harper trilogy off and it redeems I think it's the first time Big Finish redeem a very underrated villain so yeah it's a very good story and I highly recommend the Oliver Harper trilogy and yeah I may review the Oliver Harper trilogy some point down the line but yeah there we go so the next one we have Fear of the Daleks by Patrick Chapman um, the reason I got this one is because it's the second Companion Chronicle they ever did and getting this means I've completed the first series of Companion Chronicles so if I was ever to do an overview of the Companion Chronicles I can do the first series containing um, Frostfire, Fear of the Daleks, Bluetooth and Beautiful People so I may do that at some point in the future but I think that this release is very much a precursor to the Zoe, Zoe Harriet sort of arc what goes on through the Companion Chronicles so like in uh, Echoes of Grey, Memory Cheats, um, The Uncertainty Principle and Second Chances. Um, I think that this is kind of a precursor to that arc what Zoe has within the Companion Chronicle. So yeah, I look forward to giving Fear of the Daleks a go. So the third story I picked up was Mastermind by Jonathan Morris. The um, second story containing um, the new unit personnel, what we're introduced in Tales from the Vault. Tales from the Vault, very good Companion Chronicle and a Companion Chronicle where you get a fair bit for your money. Um, because you've got Steven Taylor, Joe Grant, Romana One and Zoe in it um, alongside the two unit characters and it really utilises the Companion Chronicle format um, really well. 
Um, so I was quite excited to get Mastermind. Um, I think this is one where Jeffrey, well the master I should say, is running a casino. I think that's what happens within this story. And I think it kind of leads into the world of Doctor Who, that box set. Um, they did a couple of years ago, so that'd be quite nice to give us one a go and then listen to, I think it's The Burning Skull. Um, so yeah, I'd be very excited to listen to this because I did enjoy Tales from the Vault. It's a very good companion chronicle, so this should um, live up to that because it is by Jonathan Morris. So yeah, there we go. Uh, the next one we have is Beyond the Ultimate Adventure. A lot of shock horror, I guess, um, because... Yeah, I, I don't know what drew me to get this one. I mean, before the sale happened, um, a couple of days before the sale happened, I listened to the trailer for Beyond the Ultimate Adventure, um, just out of sheer curiosity, just to see what it sounded like. And yeah, this audio isn't well regarded. It's one of the worst Big Finish have ever done. Um, even I listened to one of the old Gallifrey um, panel podcasts Big Finish did back in like 20, 2012 or something like that. And even them, were, they were ripping the crap out of it. Um, so I was like, well, let's, let's buy it. Um, I think you need to listen to the ultimate adventure to understand what's going on. Um, so yeah, I just bought this for a laugh, really, because I bought the ultimate adventure um, in the clearance sale. So I thought, well, let's get it. Let's get it out of the way. Um, and plus five pound, I can't, you know, you can't really argue with that. Five pound for that. So let's see if it's, so I may review that at one point. Let's see, you know, if I ever do my top 10 worst big finish stories, let's see if that makes a list. Um, so the next audio on the list is the Salation Gambit by Steve Lyons. Um, this one's been on my list for a while, um, a very long time actually, ever since I listened to The Architects of History, where the Seventh Doctor encounters um, the Salations on big finish. I think the Salations have appeared in a few other things, um, like the murder game, so they're kind of reoccurring with the second Doctor. Um, but it's by Steve Lyon, so it's going to be a fantastic story. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I mean, yeah, I'm very excited to give this one a go. It just sounds like a very interesting story, and the synopsis just sounds incredible. Um, just give you a pause there so you can have a read of it. It just sounds really good and a lot of fun, so I look forward to giving that one a listen at some point. Um, so the last companion chronicle I'm going to show is this, Perry and the Piscon Paradox by Nev Fountain. Um, this is one of the two disc releases, it's one of the rare occasions where the companion chronicles is two discs. I think the other ones are The Suffering, The Anachronauts, uh, Luna Romana, um, I think I'm missing another one, I think, that, um, I think that's it. I swear I'm missing another one, but those are the ones I can think of the top of my head. Um, but yeah, this sort of explains what happened to Perry after Trial of the Time Lord. So yeah, it's going to be good. Nev Fountain is one of my favourite Big Finish writers. He's just really clever, you know, he puts humour in it and it's really not over the top humour. It's very subtle humour. If you've listened to a Kingmaker, you'll kind of know what kind of humour Nev Fountain has. And it's just, he's absolutely brilliant. And I've heard nothing but good things about this. This is one of the best companion chronicles in fan consensus. So it's, it's going to be good. You know, it's got to be good. I mean, it's one of the rare occasions as well where the Doctor appears in the Companion Chronicle. I think the only other time this happens um, is in Project Nirvana. Um, I think that's the only other time it happens. But this one features Nicola Bryant and Colin Baker. So it's going to be exciting. And I've heard a few clips from this because I listened to one of the old Big Finish podcasts of um, the sound designers. And there was a little clip of this and sort of Jamie Robertson was explaining how difficult it was to do the sound design because it's a very... Um, time sort of story so yeah it's going to be very interesting and I'm very excited to listen to Parry and the Piscon Paradox because I've heard nothing but good things and Nev Fountain always delivers a cracking story so there we have it the recent audios I picked up in the Companion Chronicles sale um, and we also unboxed the Horrors of War by Justin Richards um, but yeah just because it, it technically is a Companion Chronicle because it follows that type, that type of format really and you can expect a review of that in the near future um, we've got Beyond the Ultimate Adventures just hiding because it knows it's an abomination but I'll uh, reserve judgement to say whether I agree that it is one of the worst audios but yeah like I say the Companion Chronicles is a range I truly adore I would love to do my top 10 Companion Chronicles uh, releases in the near future because like I said there's just so many hidden gems and it's an overlooked range because people want the full cast stuff and that's fine but I think that the Companion Chronicles are a great way to get into Big Finish because if you aren't really a fan of audios then the Companion Chronicles are a perfect way to do that because they do all the work for you they 
give you the environment. You've got added narration to really help paint the picture, help paint the world, what this story is set in. So you don't have to worry about, you know, what's happening, what type of spaceship it is, because the Companion Chronicles do the detail. It adds extra detail to it. And especially if you get the right Companion Chronicle and the right reader, um, you know, like Katie Manning, she's one you want to listen to because she does all the different voices. Look at the Scorchy. She practically voices everybody within that. And it just shows how versatile she is. The Companion Chronicles, like I say, is one of my favourite ranges. The Last Post, Mahogany Murderers, Home Truths, The Many Deaths of Joe Grant, The Bluetooth, The Time Museum, The Tales from the Vault. There are just so many great Companion Chronicles what are just superb. I love them and I will love to do my top 10 in the near future on that. So yeah, we'll be seeing whether Perry and the Piscon Paradox makes that um, list. But also speaking of Companion Chronicles, we have the latest Companion Chronicle release, Second Doctor volume two um which i got a couple of weeks ago and i'm slowly listening through um i've listened to the first story the curator's egg and it's basically the second doctor meets jurassic park that's the best way to sum it up um but i'm looking forward to dumb waiter um where we see jamie meet leela um obviously they sort of had a glimpse in return to telos and the fate of Kralos, so be nice to see so that. So I will be in reviewing form. the second doctor companion chronicles volume two in the near future but that's not the next review this, what has just arrived in the post, is the next review, and that is this. The Eighth Doctor Time War, Volume 2. The Eighth Doctor and the Ogrons. Huzzah! Isn't that exciting? Um, I've listened to the first three stories in the set, so I've listened to Lords of Terror, Planet of the Ogrons, and The Garden of Death. So this will be the next big finish review I will do, and that will be out in the next couple of days. So thank you very much for watching this unboxing. I hope you have enjoyed it, and if you picked up anything in the Companion Chronicle style, it would be quite interesting to hear what you picked up so thank you very much for watching this review well unboxing and i'll see you next time in the eighth doctor time war volume two so thank you very much and bye bye